Okay, I'm here to talk to you about the cream eyeshadows. I'll show them to you. And they're in the holiday set. A lot of you have already purchased them. They are running low. And so if this is something that you're not gonna wanna wait till the Black Friday sale, because you're not sure if it's gonna be in or out, I would get this one because it is low inventory. Um, everything else, I will know if something's low inventory or not. And stay tuned next week, we'll be having um, some fun surprises with Black Friday being early. So I wanna educate you as much as I can on these products. The cream eyeshadows come in this really awesome box. There's four of them. So it's really great way to break up if you have a couple people you need to gift give and you wanna maybe get a set of the jellies, maybe a set of the hand creams, body butters. Um, there's quite a bit in our collection this year that you can break up for easy gift giving that really only ends up being definitely under $10 um, a piece. So the difference between the cream eyeshadows and a liquid eyeshadow is that a cream eyeshadow that I'm showing here are forgiving. A liquid eyeshadow, like think about it like a liquid eyeliner. Um, once you put it on, it's really hard to, to mold and you know play with your brush and it's stuck there. So that to me is a little stressful. So I like the idea behind a cream eyeshadow because I can um, you know build it, I can maybe add another color on top of it and, and just blend it with my brush. So you can do one of two things. You can put your powder eyeshadow on first if you are obsessed with a certain powder eyeshadow color and then put the luminous lids on top to give that like dimensional look or you can just use these alone, which is what I do because I like ease. Um, I have tried using it with my finger. I like to blend the top part on my brow bone with my finger, but on the lid, I find that I just sort of was wiping it off. So I like to apply it and then put my brush on and, and blend it in. So the colors that we have are all a little shimmery. There is a magnolia color and, or sorry, it's amethyst. Magnolia is my lip color, but amethyst, uh, amber, onyx, and soft gold. So this is a really great color if you like to do a smoky eye, but you're not really sure how to do it. Um, you can see it's that like gun metal gray with a little shimmer. So you'd apply it to your lid, and then I like take my favorite brush and then blend it in and apply a lighter color up on your brow and just, Sort of blend it in. I am gonna show you, this one's the amethyst color, which is really pretty, it's a purple. Um, and you can see that's the amethyst right next to that. This would be probably something that I would wear more on a daily than the gunmetal. Um, and definitely depending on your skin tone, it's gonna look different than it does on me. So I just sort of apply the color. I'm not really careful, you can see it's all over. And then I'm gonna take my brush and blend the color in. It's so subtle that I can probably just take this color up on my brow. It just adds a little color, a um, little shimmer. And then what you can do too, is you could take this gun metal, and if you have a little precision brush, you can just dab a little underneath and then line underneath that lash line. And it gives definitely a little bit more pop over on this side than on this side. So I would just say have fun with these. I would, um, I think these colors, this one is the soft gold. Um, so you can see that soft gold. So that's that gun metal, that's the amethyst. Oh, the soft gold is really pretty. That's definitely a daytime color too. You could uh, take the soft gold. I would take uh, my brush and maybe uh, take the inside, brighten up that inside of the eye. And then the last color that we have um, is, sorry, should be more prepared, amber. So I want to show you all of them together. So I'd say that's more like a copper color, but aren't those really pretty? Um, and I will put that one on this side so you can kind of see. So it's more of the browns. Again, you can see how messy I am when I'm applying. No rules. Then I'm gonna take a brush and just kind of blend it. Um, the tops of my uh, brow bone 
sag a little. And so what I like to do is I like to take that color above that, that lid line. And so it gives the illusion of, of, of popping it up just a little bit higher, but you can see it blends really well. I mean, that's a pretty color too. So a little bit more gray. Um, if you would want, sorry, <laughs> amethyst on this side and um, a little bit more of that copper color. And then again, if you were gonna do a smoky eye, you would just take this, well, let me just show you. So you can kind of just blend on top. So that's the dark gray. And then I would take one of my brushes and blend that in. So that I just sort of piled it on top. Um, you can see that you can wipe it away, but it has that darker look. So anyway, I think this is fun. It's just something fun around the holidays, fun to play with, has a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's not, I mean, I feel like then you could still almost have shimmer in your, in your lip gloss. You're not just shimmering. I still, I have highlighter on. So, um, really trying to brighten up that face using your concealer pen. Um, great little set. If you have any questions, I always say that, but please reach out to me. Um, that is what I'm here for.